Hello, this is Dave. I want to uh, give you a quick demo of a Jones and Shipman uh, Format 1000. This machine has been uh, updated with new mock motion controls, has new AC brushless servos. Uh, it has uh, it's a universal grinding machine. Has a right and left wheel, along with an ID spindle in the back. You can rotate the manual B axis and grind that way. Uh, we're gonna show you a quick demo of how the how to grind apart and uh, how easy the can cycles, grind cycles are for this machine. Good morning guys. Um, so I'm going to give a quick demo on this control here. I'll take this around so you can see a little bit better. Um, so we've got a main run page over here. You can see the G-code down here. This is the tool path, the path the machine's going to follow when grinding. Conversational. We're going to go ahead and grind apart here. We've got a tree here and then you've got all of your different grind cycles that you can choose and you basically build out your program with a conversational. So if I open up one of these, we've got our grind setup, turning our wheel head, our coolant on, dressing. We've got a bunch of different dress cycles here you can choose from. I'm just doing a circumference dress, dress in five tenths off, one pass, feed rate 10. And then in our cylindrical grind cycle, you can add multiple cycles together to string them together um, for one, basically grinding one area on the part. So these are the different cycles that are built in. Uh, we've got our swing position one position, swing position two, um, distance and feed rates. I'm starting off with a multi-plunge cycle and following up with a traverse uh, finish grind cycle. Um, I can just hit post. That creates the G-code down here and displays the toolpath. Uh, we'll go through our other option, other pages here. We've got grinder setup. This is uh, the first the first tab here is our wheel data. So you put in your diameter, your width, um, some of the shape data on the wheel, whether or not you want a corner radius or relief angle. Dresser setup. Currently we are set up for one diamond, and then you just teach your diamond positions. Put in your radius if there is one. Safety clearances. This would be the safety path going to and from the dresser. Um, just for part, basically part clearance, interference clearance. We've got safety clearances around the wheel, your delta positions, a um, couple other settings. This one does not have a rotary dresser and this one does not have measuring devices on it. Those could be added. Um, calibration page, this would be where we do our initial calibration, jog it in, grind on the part a little bit, T-Jax, update. You got your tool offset information. Uh, fixtures, you go to this page, it gives you a zero button up here, or you could type in position you want for Z. X is always set by the calibration um, through a teach and learn setup. And then last set of, last tab would be service. Um, this is just some controller information, and then you've got some pages showing you all the machine I.O. So we're going to go ahead and modify this program a little bit here. Um, I believe my start position, so this would have been the last one ran, so we're going to go a little bit deeper on this. I'm going to go down to 35, 243.5, and we'll leave our start diameter at the same. You can hit update, post, and we're ready to run. Close the doors. wireless button here shows me my position for whatever, whatever axis is selected and then I have a lot of the same buttons I have over here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cycle start starting off with a dress cycle got a multi plunge cycle
stepper of a couple times. I think we're stepping over about 80% of the wheel width. The control manages all that automatically. You basically tell it the width of the grind, total grind, and the uh, percent amount you want to step over per cycle, and then it automatically calculates that. So as your wheel, if you were side dressing um, on phase one or phase two, and your wheel was getting narrower, it automatically will add more plunges in there. And then the width of the grind, um, you don't have to think about the wheel width when you're putting those parameters. You put in the width of grinds you want on the part. And again, it's going to calculate the wheel width and um, figure out, you know, the right hand or the swing position to stopping point based on that. There's a full list of grind cycles available and if you need a custom one, that can be made as well. Going back over, going to switch into traverse mode and go back and get it to, I believe this one is a 284 cycle, so it's going to end feed on both ends and then traverse the crowd. What would you say our can cycles, mock motion can cycles are closest to a grind cycle? Um, most, I would say they're similar to a Kallenberger. This machine, go ahead Andy. So that was one part, I want to show you one other thing. Uh, we've got, you can at any time hit like cycle stop to retract. So in conversational, let's say I needed to touch off that part again grind a little bit more, or I just re wanted to rerun it, I could turn off the dressing cycle like that, hit post, cycle start, on either the control or on here. We're going right back in. It's doing its multiplying at any point. I could hit cycle, uh, cycle stop, and it's gonna back away and go back to your safety position. Stop the... So you, so you push cycle start there? I press stop. cycle stop to okay. exit the cycle. So any point you can hit cycle stop, and it'll retract away from the park. Mock Motion's focused on simplifying CNC, and with this control system was developed uh, to make it simple and easy for operators to learn to program and use. Uh, this machine has been upgraded and is ready to go. It's in excellent shape. Newly wired cabinet, full schematics.